Hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to my all unique two-handed weapons within Skyrim. This guide will showcase and explain how to get each unique two-handed weapon from every category. Some weapons will have identical looks to that of their normal weapon counterparts and others will have a completely unique look to them. As always, there are timestamps in the description if you wish to skip to a particular weapon, but without further ado, let's get into the video. We'll start off with the weapons in the Battle Axe category. First up is the Headsman's Axe. This weapon is its own unique weapon and can be found at Solitude. Head into the city and continue into Castle Dow where Atar is most likely to be found. If this is your first time going into Solitude, he will be there during the execution of Rogvir. There are multiple ways to acquire this weapon, the easiest of which is to recruit him as a companion. To do so, either complete a bandit execution task for him, to which he will then follow the player. I may have accidentally let a prisoner escape, the leader of one of those bandit groups. I told everyone he died during questioning, and I need you to track him down and make sure he doesn't show up to disprove that. Good. I'll have a sack of coin waiting for you when you get back. And break. That's a load off my mind. You know you can Here's your pay. Once he has been recruited, you can then take the axe from his inventory. What do you need to take? If you do not wish to complete a quest for him, if you have 100 into your pit pocket and have the misdirection perk, you can simply pit pocket the weapon from him. If you do not have 100 into your pit pocket, I have a guide on how to do so, which you can watch here. The axe has a base damage of 17 and has a weight of 11. The weapon is the longest weapon in the game and so has the longest reach of any weapon in the game. This weapon is very useful for dealing damage while keeping enemies at a distance. Next up is the Steel Battle Axe of Fiery Souls. This is a unique steel battle axe and bears the unique Fiery Soul Trap enchantment. This weapon can be found within Ironbind Barrow. Fight your way through the barrow and defeat Warlord Gafric. Behind the main throne will be the weapon. This weapon, unlike most weapons with a unique enchantment, can be disenchanted to learn. Upon disenchanting the weapon, you will learn the Fiery Soul Trap enchantment. Despite being unique, all stats are identical to that of a normal steel battle axe. Furthermore, the enchantment on the weapon deals 10 points of burn damage to a target, and if the target dies within 5 seconds and the player has an adequate sized soul gem, then the weapon will fill the gem. Next up is the Rufal Axe. This weapon is its own unique weapon and bears a stamina damage enchantment. This weapon is a potential quest reward during the Daedric quest of Daedra's best friend. Be aware that you won't be able to start this quest until you hit level 10. Once done, head to Falkreath and speak to Lord about retrieving a dog for him. Oh well. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. There's one out on the road. I can't afford to chase him down, but I could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. If you are willing to retrieve him, for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. Finding the dog will reveal that his name is Barbus and he needs help in reuniting him with his Daedric master. You are exactly what I was looking for. My master and I had a bit of a falling out. We got into an argument and it got rather heated. He's kicked me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's Shame. We should be able to talk to him there. Head to Hamar's Shame and ask Clavicus to take Barbus back. Clavicus will then instruct the player to go and retrieve the Rufal Axe. If you wish to keep the axe, you will have to kill Barbus with the axe. However, you will lose out on the Daedric Artifact, the Mask of Clavicus Vile. By all means, let's hear it. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. Here's an axe. An incredibly powerful axe. An axe powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached. No messy surprises. At least not for you. If you're heading for the Oblivion Walker achievement, the Rufal Axe does not count as a Daedric Artifact and so you will miss out on this achievement. 
The Rufalax has a damage of 22 and a weight of 10. Furthermore, its enchantment will deal an additional 20 points of stamina damage to a target. The weapon also swings much slower than any other weapon in the game, likely because of Clavicus's nature to trick mortals into deals they later regret. The weapon, although looks beautiful, is a very bad weapon to use in battle. Next up is the Woodman's Friend. This weapon is a unique iron battle axe and can be found in an unmarked location north of Pine Watch. Start at this location and head north until you come to some logs cut and left on the floor. From here, turn around, keep to the left and head towards the first standing tree. On the floor, hidden in the grass near the base of the tree will be the weapon. The weapon has a damage increase from 16 to 17, however has the cost of swinging slower than a standard iron battle axe. The final battle axe is Wufrad. This weapon is its own unique weapon and is given during the companion's quest Glory of the Dead. Be aware that you will need to progress to almost the end of the companion's quest line in order to acquire this weapon. The flames of Kodlak shall fuel the rebirth of Wuthrad, and now it will take you to meet him once more. As the one who bore the fragments, I think you should be the one to carry Wuthrad into battle. The rest of you, prepare to journey to the tomb of Ysgromor, for Kodlak. The weapon has a damage of 25 as well as weighing 25. In addition to its base damage, the weapon deals an additional 20% more damage to elven races. Next up are the weapons in the Greatsword category. First up is the Ebony Blade. This weapon is its own unique weapon and is given as a quest reward during the Daedric quest, The Whispering Door. Be aware that you will need to be at least level 20 and have completed the main story quest, Dragon Rising. Once done, head to the banners Mare and Whiterun and ask Calder for the latest gossip until she mentions Bolgriff's strange children. Jorvasku? They recruit been hearing some strange tales of the Jarl's children. Say the one's turning wicked, and the others have an ill-favoured look to them. Best to keep clear. Also note that if Holder dies, you will not be able to acquire this quest from anyone else. Head on over to Dragon's Reach and offer to help Bolgriff with his child. Yes, my youngest son. He's a dark child. I don't know what to do with him. He was always a quiet lad, but lately, something has changed. He's become brooding, violent. He won't say a word to me, but I don't know how I upset him. If you could Provence, speak to him, must help draw out we the truth, I would be immensely war. grateful. Now Kiel will then tell you to speak to the Whispering Lady. I bet she'll talk to you too. will then ask you to help her open the door. I speak. Let him guide your path. You will then need to grab the key from either Bolgriff or Farangar. Head back to the door, unlock it, and you can loot the weapon. Excellent work. The Ebony Blade has a base damage of 11 and a weight of 10. In addition to this, the blade also has an absorb health enchantment that never needs to be recharged. The blade starts off with an absorb health of 10 points, however can be upgraded by killing friendly characters or people you have helped. After killing 10 friendlies with the weapon, it will be upgraded to a 30 point absorb health enchantment. Next up is Bolgriff's Greatsword. This is a unique steel greatsword and is given as a quest item by Adrienne. Head on over to Whiterun and speak with her about her time at the forge. She will then ask you to bring the weapon to her father in Dragon's Reach. If you wish to keep the weapon, you cannot turn in the quest as it will be taken from your inventory. Aye, that I do. I've got to, if I hope to be as good as Yorland Greymane someday. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. Thanks. Despite being unique, all other stats are identical to that of a normal steel greatsword. Next up is the Honed Ancient Nord Greatsword of Scorching. This is a unique Honed Ancient Nord Greatsword and can be found within Labyrinthian. You won't be able to enter Labyrinthian until you've progressed through the College of Windhold questline and started the quest, The Staff of Magnus. Enter Labyrinthian and continue through into the Tribune. Follow through the corridors, past the tower, and into some more ruins. Head down some steps, turn left, and open an adept locked gate. 
Inside the room, stabbed into a fire pit, will be the blade. The weapon actually has a decrease in damage from 20 to 15, but has a fire damage enchantment on the weapon. The enchantment increases fire damage of the player by 15%. Although the player could create a better enchanted weapon, the blade is unique as the only copy of it is in Labyrinthian. The final category are the weapons in the Warhammer category. First up is Aegis Bane. This is a unique iron warhammer and can be found at Ralph before. Head into the ruin and make your way to the large centre room where Elaine Dufont can be found. Kill him and loot the weapon from his corpse. The weapon has identical stats to that of a normal iron warhammer, however it also bears a frost damage enchantment. The weapon deals an additional 5 points of frost damage to a target's health and stamina. Next up is Shagrol's Warhammer. This is a unique orcish warhammer and is a quest item during the quest The Cursed Tribe. To start the quest, the player will need to be at least level 9 or above. Once done, head on over to Lagerspur. Speak with Atub and bring her some troll fat and a daedra heart. I beg of you, can you bring me troll fat and a daedra heart? I have no wish to depend on a stranger, but I have no choice. Continue with the ritual and help your Mars with dealing the giants in the Fallowstone Cave. Once at the giant's grove, kill the giant at the shrine and on his corpse will be the weapon. Despite being unique, all stats are identical to that of a normal orcish warhammer. Next up is the longhammer. This is a unique orcish warhammer and can be found within Liar's Retreat. Head into the bandit hideout and continue through the tunnels into the former camp. Head all the way to the end and on the table next to a corpse of Rad will be the weapon. The weapon has identical damage to that of a normal orcish warhammer, however has a decrease in weight from 26 to 18. Furthermore, the weapon is also able to be swung 30% faster than that of a normal warhammer. This is not considered an enchantment and so the weapon can be enchanted to give it an extra effect if the player wishes. Next up is Troll's Bane. This is a unique steel warhammer and can be found at an unmarked location west of Cradle Stone Tower. Start to this location and head west. Head down some cliffs where you will see two trolls. Kill them and head into the small troll den. Inside will be the body of Frothnir Trollsbane and on his corpse will be the weapon. The weapon has identical stats to that of a normal steel warhammer, however has the unique enchantment of dealing 15 points of burn damage to trolls only. If attacking a normal NPC with the weapon, they will resist the enchantment. The final weapon is Volundrome. This is its own unique weapon and is given as a quest reward during the quest The Cursed Tribe. Follow the steps from Shagrol's Warhammer and return to Lagerspur. Place the Warhammer on the shrine and Malakath will give you Volundrome as a reward. Our tribe has survived this long without you interfering. We'll be fine. The weapon has a damage of 25 and a weight of 26. Furthermore, the weapon has a stamina damage enchantment which absorbs 50 points of stamina from a target. And there we have my all unique two-handed weapons guide within Skyrim. I hope you find this video helpful and as always, thank you for watching.